problem we're trying to address is the problem of resistance to anti-hormone therapies. We try and knock down as many skittles as they can. One or two of them are resistant in the sense that they have little magnets in the bottom. This is a problem that we that is long established. What we do in the laboratories is to, are to grow breast cancer cells in vitro to identify those factors and pathways involved in the acquisition of resistance. These days, patients with cancer have more options than just the traditional options of chemotherapy or radiotherapy. By testing a patient's tumour for the genetic changes within their tumour, we're able to open up new options of um, targeted treatments to the genetic changes within the tumour. People are very, very hungry for knowledge about types of therapy that we're trying to develop. And there's a big gap in understanding uh, of the level of activity and the types of uh, direction that science is going in, in, in generating new therapies. And it's filling that gap, which is incredibly important. It's important for the members of the public to understand what we're doing. Uh, understand where their money's going when they put money in the collecting tins um, and it's important for them to understand the importance of you know, these new technologies and driving cancer medicine forward. So, um, CRUK has set out very optimistic targets for the next 10 years, what they want to achieve. And it's important that we, we keep giving and it's therefore important that people know where their money's going. I found it very informative, lots of different things going on. The science has been fascinating and presented in such a way we can easily understand it. are working with a number of charities so it's not just Cancer Research UK here we believe by working together we can beat cancer sooner. Yeah.